here we have some word problems about numbers, consecutive integers, um, sums of numbers, and they require quadratic equations to solve. So let's take a look at this. The, the trickiest part really is setting them up, and once you're, you get used to that, the rest of it should be pretty easy. This one says the product of two consecutive positive integers is 119 more than the next integer. So the is in this sentence is our equal sign, so I'm going to just put that in there. And on the left of that equal sign it says the product of two consecutive positive integers. So I'm going to be multiplying two things together. And two consecutive positive integers, what is that? Well, let's call the first one x. The next one, since they're consecutive, would just be x plus 1. And we're going to multiply those together to get a product, so we have x times x plus 1 on the left. On the right, it says 119 more than the next integer. So what's the next integer? Well, we have x, we have x plus 1. The next integer is x plus 2. But this quantity here is 119 more than that, so we have to add 119. And there we have our equation set up. That was the tricky part. The next part, probably pretty easy. We'll just uh, do our algebra here. So let's multiply the x through. We get x squared plus x. Over here we have x plus 121. I'm going to subtract an x from both sides. I get x squared equals 121. I can solve this by taking the square root of both sides. I get x equals, well, and these are positive integers, so I'm going to ignore the negative result. x equals 11. But I'm not done because the question was, what is the largest of the three integers? I solved for x. That's the smallest. x plus 1 would be 12. x plus 2 would be 13. And that is our correct answer. Let's look at one more of these. This one says the sum of two negative numbers is negative 81. So let's call these x and y. And I'll just know they're going to be negative. So if I solve a quadratic, I'm going to be looking for those negative solutions. So x plus, this is a sum, y equals a negative 81. And their product is 1,634. So x times y equals 1,634. This is really a, a classic system of equations. Um, the only difference is I've got a multiplication thing in here, so I'm going to end up with a quadratic. Now at this point you could solve this top equation for one variable or, or the other. I'm going to solve it for x just by subtracting y from both sides, and I get x equals negative y minus 81. That I can plug in here, and I'll have one equation with one variable. I'll be able to solve for the y. So let's try that. We've got well, this comes out to negative y minus 81 times y equals 1634. So we would have a negative y squared minus 81y after I multiply that y through. And then let's subtract the 1634. And there we go. There's our quadratic. They're all negative. I could multiply everything by uh, a negative 1 and they'd all be positive. It would amount to the same thing. If you um, plug this into a... Uh, quadratic equation solver, or if you crunch through the numbers on um, the uh, quadratic formula, what you'll find out is that y will equal negative 38 or negative 43. And at this point you might be thinking you have to go back and solve for x, but if you pick this one for y, you'll get this one for x. If you pick this one for y, you'll get this one for x. Um, you've actually solved for both of them. And if you look at this, if you think about it, it wouldn't have mattered if I had picked, um, solved this equation for y or x. I, the same thing would happen down here. You'd still multiply it and set it equal to 1634. So these are the two uh, integers. And the question was, what is the largest of the numbers? And don't jump uh, 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 immediately to negative 43. That's biggest in magnitude, but the larger of the numbers is actually negative 38 because these are negative numbers. All right, let's do one more of these. This one says if twice the square of a positive number is added to the product of 7 and the number, the result is 15. Find the number. So the result is, that's our equal sign, and we had a 15 after that. So that side of the equation is pretty easy. Let's work through what comes on the left here. Twice the square of a positive number. So we'll call that number x. The square of it is x squared, and twice the square of it is 2x squared. If that, twice the square of a positive number, is added to the product of 7 and the number, so plus, 
the product of 7 and the number is 7 times x. The result is 15. So there we go. A lot of words for a pretty simple looking quadratic. So we've got 2x plus 2x squared plus 7x minus 15 equals 0. And let's see, that factors to 2x minus 3 times x plus 5, I think. Yeah, that should work. And we get x equals 3 halves and x equals a negative 5. We can toss out x equals negative 5, however, because it says twice the square of a positive number. That's a negative number, so we can toss it out. So it looks like our uh, solution is 3 halves. And if you're concerned that that really works or not, you can go ahead and plug it back in for x. You'll find out 2 times 3 halves squared plus 7 times 3 halves does indeed equal 15. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions off campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.